welcome back elves, my name is Cobblecup and today I will be showing you how to beat level 10 in Impossible Runner. So a week ago Impossible Runner launched and let's just say that a few people, a few people have beaten it. Which means that I have to pay up and pay somebody a thousand dollars. But before we show that, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who played the game. Right here, you can see how many videos were made on this game. And shout out to everybody. I watched so many videos. It's crazy. Shout out to everyone that played the game, made a video on it, shared it. And it really means the world to me. Like, it's just so cool to see that so many people played it. Like I said, I'll be releasing more games this year, so it's gonna be so much fun! But first, let's finish Impossible Runner. So while reading the reviews here on Android, I noticed a lot of people, they would say stuff like, you know, the game is fun, but the controls are too sensitive. And, you know, the game is fun, but level 10 is impossible. I played the game, but it's really impossible because level 10, you can't not make it there's no way to beat level 10 and to most of them I say you're correct you know I should have made the controls feel a lot more natural and I will in my next game but boy if you put up a thousand dollars tell the world to beat your game they are going to beat it so I designed the level 10 of impossible runner to be as hard as possible I personally had not completed it from start to finish however I made sure that it was possible so every li little bit I made sure to test it out with checkpoints because I can do that because I make the game. I made sure there were obstacles you could pass no matter what. And then I released it, level 10. I asked a few people to test it and they said it was much, much harder. So let's go back to the first person who beat level 10. Now keep in mind, this was a person who tested the game. He got a prize on his own. So, which was separate from the thousand dollars and it was for helping me, you know, test the game pretty much. But here you can see his attempt of a level 10 V1. This was the first version of level 10, which I thought was a little bit too easy after he beat it, beat it within four hours. As you can see, he just jumped there and jumped there and then moved left, right and just kept on going, kept on going, did another jump and then the exact same thing. I pretty much copy pasted it while making the game. And then there he did a little bit of a glitch, but that was all right, you know, it's, it's in the game. He did a jump over here, went left. Oh, this is actually, I just noticed. This is the second version. This isn't even the first version of level 10. That was the second version of level 10. So that was even after I made it a little bit harder. So what I ended up doing was I grabbed this footage and frame by frame, I looked at where he landed and how he did his tactics. And I said, okay, let me just put an obstacle there and let me make that platform smaller. And let's make this a little tightrope, etc., 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 Just to make it as hard as possible for people to complete it. So I asked him, the previous record holder, how far did you get after about a day of release? And he said right here, and this is about 75% of the level. Um, getting here is definitely hard, but the last bit is even harder, which meant that was a good thing. After that, I asked him, how many hours have you played on the game? And he sent me this screenshot. This is insane. He played for 50 hours. That's crazy. What this meant was that nobody had completed the new version yet. And to beat the new version, there, there was a thousand dollar prize if you managed to beat the first ver- the, the new version. So obviously I said this on Twitter, and people would keep on sending me messages. People would tell me they beat the game and send me a screenshot of the credits. People would send me more screenshots of them not even beating it in 50 hours. Look at it, 50 hours played. Anyways, here's a screenshot of the credits, which I got this screenshot like a million different times. So I asked this guy, I'm like, hey, do you have any video footage? Because I need proof of you actually completing the level. That could either be in screenshots, different screenshots throughout the level, or are you actually making it smooth videos type of deal? Or like a camera, you could even, you could do whatever. As long as I could see you beat it legit. Obviously he said no, but he kept on claiming that he beat the game. So I asked him for his Steam profile. I went to have a look. Turns out he only played the game for one hour. Listen, 
To go from level 1 to 10 already takes 30 minutes most for most people. To then master level 10 in 30 minutes, that's impossible! When there are literally people out there who have 50 hours on record and who have not completed the game. It's clearly very, very hard. I also had a few people who send me uh, videos of them uh, beating it on iOS and to those people congratulations however the competition unfortunately was not for iOS which I had to implement later and say that it was not for iOS mainly because iOS it wouldn't update I was trying to roll out updates and release a newer version uh, but as you can see right over here it's super glitched there are blocks floating in the sky it's way too easy uh, this was the older version this was the older version and even when he beats it he ends up dying and respawning it was a super glitched version iOS, unfortunately, I cannot update it. Sorry. So the competition was only for Android and Steam. So then... Oh, boy. Oh, boy, the internet went wild. After about a million people accusing me that I was never going to give them money and that the game was impossible to beat and that it was just simply impossible and for me a way to promote my game and not a fair competition, one of the first videos emerged by Dr. Rams. He's, he's been in my videos every now and then. He's a, he's a diehard fan. And Dr. Rams uploads this to his YouTube channel. Impressive. Impressive, and he died. Dr. Rams was now the record holder of getting as far as possible in Impossible Runner. He managed to get just a little bit farther than Biscuit, but so far, he was the record holder. Up until I got an email. For privacy reasons, I will uh, obviously blur out, black out uh, this person's email address. We can only show his first name just in case, you know, just in case. And I get an email and he says, hey there, I hope this is the right email address. And, and yes, it was. I got it from your YouTube video. I finished level 10 on PC after about 20 hours of trying. So, oh boy. Is this real? Is this legit? Or has he just sent me a virus? Well, let's check it out. Starts off pretty nice. It goes on the left side, jumps on the side, bounces. Nice little bounce on the little bits. Moves around, moves around, migrate, migrate, yep, yep. And on the tightrope. Jumps left. Second, second tightrope. Little tightrope and the walls. He has to go left, right, left, right, left, right. And he jumps. He uses, what was that? He jumped in the sky. Goes around the tightropes. Jumps all the way around. And beats level 10. So obviously, the first thing I did was I watched this. 10 times, you see 29 views, that's all me. That's all me, I kept on watching it. Because I wanted to see it frame by frame. What happened? He went right around, okay, that's one way of doing it. Then right here, he went to the left side, did a jump, came back down, did a touch the edge again and jumped again, went through there, went to the tightrope, then proceeded to jump off the tightrope around the blocks, as intended, this is how you're supposed to do it. Go left, right, left, right. Make sure he wasn't bouncing. That's what these blocks are for. Kept on going. Went to the next tight rope, which he did perfectly. Jumped to the left side. Jumped over those blocks. Bounced. Jumped on the tight rope. Did a crazy bounce there. Right before the black walls. He went around it. Back, got some air. Got another jump. And then he went for a big jump. And then right there, I don't know if you saw it, I noticed something. I noticed something. I don't know if you noticed it. But he jumped in midair. So I took a look and I realized what just happened. The first person to beat level 10 used a glitch where he got his momentum from the previous jump. And, and that's pretty much how he did it. From the previous jump, he still was bouncing from the previous jump. But he still had his charge of his jump. He had it ready. He didn't use it. He never used it until he needed it in the air. So this was a hard one for me. The first person to beat level 10 used a glitch, a pretty interesting glitch, which was in the game. Like, it was, it was my fault. Like, I added this into the game. Which also means that everybody could have used this glitch, which still means that the playing ground was even. Another glitch, you could, you could kind of call it a glitch, is, is the fact that the character starts rolling. But everybody has it, and everybody knows it exists. However, this one 
not everybody knows it exists. So then, obviously, I got a second email. Another person had beat level 10. So I took a look, and obviously this one's watermarked. Uh, the other person should have watermarked it too, but whatever. This one's watermarked, pretty tight. And I took a look, and, and, and this person, he goes on the right side, and then around here. It's, it's a very interesting way how he did it, but it's legit. Here, I do not see, you know, any glitches used except for the rolling one. I don't see him jumping in there, or at least the times that I've analyzed it. And, and it, it, it looks great. It looks very, very legit. Uh, and then he goes around here, he goes around there, those blocks are floating. He does it very, very smooth. And he was the second person to beat level 10. But the question is, who would I give it to? The one person that used a glitch, but still beat it, or the other person who, as far as I noticed, did not use a glitch. Now let's have them side by side. Okay, so here's a side by side view to see how things are going. You know, they, 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 it's, it's pretty, pretty similar, pretty damn similar. You know, they, they go around the same pace, one's a little bit behind, but it's, it's going well. It's going great. Um, you know, everybody takes a different route. You can take whatever route you would like to take, and you can see they finish it pretty much at the same time. So, as a person who loves watching speedrun videos, I have to say that oh, 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 did beat it faster at first glance. And looking at the glitch one more time, he touches the ground and then jumps in midair. I have to say that this glitch is allowed simply because he touched the ground and then jumped afterwards. He just had a delayed jump. If he would have used the jump mechanic right while hitting the floor, pretty much like right over there, it would have added on top of his vertical velocity anyway. Because that's how I add, how I made the game. So regardless if he jumped right over here, or over here, or over here, or over here, or over here, the outcome would have been the exact same. It didn't it didn't matter for the final product. Because pretty much when you press spacebar, it adds a force to you, for you to go up. And you can add it anywhere in that equation, and your outcome's gonna be the same. That's just that's just how things work. Uh, unless you add it while, you, while you're dead, but then you cannot add it. So pretty much I have to say, cops, that oh 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 oh, aka Johannes, is the person who beat it legit. As far as I know, I, I don't know if he used a tool-assisted speedrun or whatever. I don't know how legit this is. So I've asked him for his Steam profile. I'm gonna look into this. I'm working together with Verified Giveaway to make sure that everything is going legit. If I'm not 100% sure about it, I'll ask them. And so far they've been amazing helping me out here. Just to make sure that everybody knows that this giveaway is legit. But we're gonna do a little bit more research, but pretty much I can tell you. Johannes has won. Johannes won a thousand dollars. He beat Impossible Run. The fastest, the first person to beat it. He said it took him 20 hours, which seems very, very reasonable. So congratulations, Johannes, on winning the thousand dollars. Now I wouldn't be Quibble Cup if it wasn't for another challenge. This one, however, this one doesn't have a prize. This one is for your own prize. First of all, I would like to challenge more people to try and complete level 10. As you can see, you can now know, you can now see how to do it. There's video proof out there. You can look at those videos, practice yourself, and maybe complete it yourself. So after everybody has completed level 10, I would like to challenge you cops to try and speed run Impossible Runner. Starting from level one, you press play all the way to the credit screen. Who can beat it the fastest? Who is going to be the world record holder of Impossible Runner? Technically, you could beat the game in 20 minutes. Actually, even less, you could beat the game in five minutes if you didn't fail. The game is only five minutes long. So I'm curious, who's gonna do it? Who's gonna be an official record holder? Now make sure when you do it, you record it and you have video proof, because that's how these speedruns work. Also, I would like to say speedruns are only allowed on the Steam version, because that's the most updated version, and probably the easiest to do anyways. But yeah, good luck, cops. Thank you so much for making Impossible Runner just such a big game for a week. So many people played it, and it's pretty damn insane. I do not plan to release any new maps or uh, crazy updates for Impossible Runner, but maybe in the future, maybe in a year's time, I'll decide to release an Impossible Runner 2, which will be even better. 
than the first one. Thank you so much, cops, and I'll see you cops tomorrow. Bye bye. After about 20 hours of trying,